begin with breaking developments in the shooting that left five officers injured in southeast Houston on Monday. Just moments ago, we got our first look at the warrant issued before officers went in the home on Harding Street. Our Jacob Rascone is joining us live now with a look. Jacob. And Lauren and Bill, we are just outside the courthouse here where we just got a hold of this minutes ago. In fact, I just finished reading through this. And it talks about why they went into this house in the first place and why they asked to be able to go in without knocking, but to just break open the door and go in and execute this search warrant. So after a first reading, it looks like they had a confidential informant that bought heroin at this location, according to police and according to this search warrant, and witnessed as well, that confidential informant, another controlled substance that is not named and as well witness that there was a weapon at the property and because of this information the officers believed that they needed to make an entry instead of for example knocking and announcing who they are and asking them to come to the door so they asked on monday to be able to execute this search warrant believing that there was heroin black tar heroin as the chief has said that was being sold there and that there was a weapon there as well and another as i said uncontrolled uh, substance that is not identified here so this is the search warrant that also identifies the house it talks about 7815 harding street which is the house where we were that we've seen on that street uh, it it identifies the house talks about the door of the house to, to make sure that they have the right place so this is interesting and this we've been waiting to hear and see because we've uh, wondered about the investigation and the behind the scenes about why the officers decided to go in the way they did but now we know they had a confidential informant that met with officers who had bought they said heroin from this location witnessed another substance and as well a weapon at that location of course we'll have much more on this coming up at six o'clock reporting live at the municipal courthouse jacob rascone kprc channel 2 news illuminating thank you jacob